Well, hey there, athlete. It's Xavier, yours truly. And I'd like to introduce you and welcome you to this video entitled Wrist Prep. So as we spend more time together doing our movement practices, as you probably already know, we're going to be spending more time using our hands and specifically our wrist. So we have to make sure that uh, we are able to perform these beginning basic fundamental exercises and drills and practices before we move on to the intermediate and the more advanced movements, if such is your desire. But at the least, just knowing how to manipulate the wrist will serve you well going forward into your life, whether it's training practice or just life maintenance. So follow me along, uh, follow along with me, and I'll be giving you some explanations during these drills. And like I said, this will be something that will serve you well into your years moving forward. All right, stay tuned and I'll uh, see you on the other side. Okay, athlete, a couple of things I wanna mention right off the bat is uh, the fact that you can do this anywhere. And as you can see right now, I have my hands right out in front of me. And what I'm really doing is spreading my fingers out as far as my muscles will allow. And I'm gonna repeat that. I have my timer set for one minute, 60 seconds. You can feel free to start yours at 30 seconds perhaps. You wanna keep your arms outstretched and really just spread those fingers out and keep them out there as far, like I said, like your muscles, as far as your muscles will allow you. And then you wanna bring it in and grip tight, make a fist squeezing your muscles as tightly as you can. Now, some people have reported they have uh, experienced some cramps, so you can back off a little bit if you do start to experience that, but you really wanna go for as many of these uh, spread out fingers as you can. And then on the next round, we're gonna speed the pace up just a little bit. Okay, now, as promised, we're gonna do the same thing, except now we're going to increase the pace. As you can see here, I'm just really spreading my fingers out with a bit of a faster pace. So this is going to uh, innervate your muscles a little bit more. And now I'm uh, taking myself to the side view so you can see my arms are stretched out still, uh, keeping my hands up at shoulder height. And you're just really gonna go for another minute if you need to reduce the time, go for 30 seconds and just spread those fingers out as wide as your muscles will allow and then bring it back in for a fist. And here I'm just switching my wrist into a different position. You can play around with this as you see fit uh, because this is really gonna make sure that your muscles, your tendons, all your ligaments in the hands, wrist, and uh, all the smaller muscles will get innervated. Okay, now athlete, it's time to do some finger counting. I want you to hold your hands up just like you see me doing here. We're going to start with our thumbs, then the first finger, middle finger, and you want to end up just like that. Again, we're going thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth, and then reverse the order. You see that? Thumb, first, second, third, fourth, and now my pinky, and reversing the order starting with the pinky. So you're going to continue this for at least 30 seconds, uh, maybe a minute if you are up to it. But we're going at the pace of you. These are the fundamentals, but after you get these down, you can start playing around with the order. You can play around with the time. You can actually use this as a workout. You can use it as a de-stressor. Uh, this will definitely help to um, mitigate some of the effects of carpal tunnel syndrome as well. Okay, here's a favorite of mine. I like to call this one flipping the pancake because it kind of resembles turning a pancake over. But uh, I want you to notice that my elbows are nice and high and I'm just simply placing pressure on one hand and allowing my wrist and all the small muscles from the wrist all the way down into the fingers really open up spend a few seconds on one side and then turn it over and apply the pressure to the other hand going back and forth again everything that I do here is being shown for one minute 
you can do yours for a little bit less or going at the pace of you. But this is a great way to really loosen up those wrists, tight wrists uh, from being on the computer all day or what have you. Um, a great way to reverse some of the signs and symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. And really just get in there and really loosen up those uh, areas of the wrist, hands and fingers. All those areas began to open up. Okay, here's something I call peel the onion. I'm just going to hold my hand up and you can see I'm starting with my thumb and I'm just going to pull back on those muscles nice and relaxed as far back as my relaxed muscles will allow. Then I go to the first finger, second finger, third finger, and finally I get to the fourth finger. Just bending those back as far as I can do that comfortably, going for the stretch. Not pain, but a stretch. And then I just keep repeating that until my minute is up. I'm staying on the same hand, just going back, going back to the thumb, first finger, second finger, uh, fourth finger, third finger, I should say, and then fourth finger, and then repeat the process. It's as simple as that, and then we just switch it over to the next hand in the next minute. But be sure to make sure that you only do this for a stretch. You don't want to experience any pain. Okay, now we've moved on to the other hand and we're doing the same thing. We're peeling the onion, starting with my thumb, and now into the first finger, <clears throat> now into the second finger. Grabbing the third, keeping them together as a group, and then finally I move on to my pinky finger. And we're again going for the relaxation and the stretch. If you should feel any pain, then you just simply need to back up off the pressure that you're applying to the stretch and see if you can continue on. And we'll just repeat the cycle until the minute's up, focusing on the stretch only. And like I said, if you should experience any pain, then we're doing it too hard and we just need to peel it back just a bit. Okay, now it's time to have some fun. As you can see, I've taken myself down to the floor and I'm on all fours with my hands spread out, fingers spread out. And notice my arm, my elbow pits. I've taken them and rotated those armpits forward as I lean into the pose. Uh, this is set up for a minute and I'm going at the pace of me you may not be able to get as far into the forward lean and that's okay we're going at the pace of you but you want to lean into it keeping your palms firmly placed on the ground and you want to go I have my clock set for a minute and I'm just leaning as far forward as I can with my fingers spread as wide as possible okay here I am we're doing the same pose from a different angle. Notice my elbow pits. I'm rotating my elbows to the forward position and I'm getting into my lean with my palms firmly glued to the ground and I'm getting my lean as far forward as I possibly can. And again, I have my clock set for one minute, keeping my elbows locked to really get in and stretch those ligaments, stretch the muscles of the forearms and really get those muscles nice and loose. A little tidbit of information, I don't know if you knew this, but there are actually no muscles in the fingers. That's composed of primarily uh, joints and ligaments, but no muscles. They're all coming from your forearm. So if you want better grip, we got to work on that forearm strength. Okay, now it's time to get our side lean on. And as you can see, I have, have my fingers spread out. Now they are located to the side. And you can see I'm leaning from side to side and keeping my elbows in the forward, my elbows in the forward position and elbows locked out. I'm leaning as far to the left and right. 
as far as my muscles will allow. Again, we're going for the stretch sensation, not so much pain. Uh, pain doesn't do anything, doesn't do anybody any good. And it will only help to keep you from training. <clears throat> so we want to avoid the pain part and just go for the stretch and be patient with this. Uh, you don't want to go too far too too soon. So just be sure and do what you can. That's why I like, like to emphasize we're working at the pace of you. So this is the side lean. And you're going back and forth, keeping those fingers spread as wide as possible. Okay, champ, now it's time to take it from the side and place your fingers all the way to the rear. So my fingers are pointing directly at my knees now with my elbow pits pointing forward, as you can see here. And I'm going to sit back on my sit bones and really stretch those uh, wrist muscles out a little bit further. This one is a very intense stretch. We're going for the stretch cycle only. Again, no pain, just the stretch. So if you can only go back a couple of inches, then that's okay. Because as we continue to spend time on this, this will get better as well. Uh, we have to do the fundamentals before we can learn how to do the mastery stuff. So this is the, the only path to mastery, is learning the basics. Uh, so the fingers are spread out as wide as possible, and I, I do my best to keep the palms of my heels glued to the ground as well. Keep those fingers spread. Okay, champ, now it's time to get into a little gradual muscle building. As you can see, I have the base of my palms firmly planted on the ground, and I'm leaning into my pose. But as you can see, I'm lifting up using my muscles in from the forearms to lift the base of my palm up. And then slowly, I'm resisting the way down. I'm resisting that as much as possible. And I'm going to do that for a minute. Let me just turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better from the side view. But I'm lifting up. It's kind of like uh, when you're standing up on your feet, you're lifting up to your tippy toes the same principle applies here. It's just, it's just on your hands, using my fingers as my toes. So I'm using my forearm strength to lift up, and then on the way down, I resist as much as possible, nice and slow. Keep those fingers spread as well. Okay, now it's time to do something I call play the piano. In our last segment, we were lifting up on our tippy toes with our hands. Now we're lifting up on our on the toes themselves. In this case, we're lifting up on our fingertips using the power of your forearms. Now I'm on my knees so I can adjust the weight simply by leaning back or leaning forward on my knees. But you really want to do your best to put a little bit of pressure on your fingertips. And here it is again from the side. Uh, we're just really putting a little bit more pressure onto the fingers to really help those fire off those muscles in the forearms. And this does a really good job of countering any ill effects of, um, you know, sitting and doing a repetitive motion like carpal tunnel syndrome, typing or what have you. And just keep your fingers spread. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the thumb and the first finger. We're going to apply the same principle as the last segment, except this time we're pulsing with just emphasis on the thumb, more so on the thumb than the first finger. And we're just going to simply, uh, you know, go back and forth with varying the weight from my knees and really see how much we can innervate the thumb muscles because those are going to be used as your stabilizers when we move on to the intermediate and advanced floor exercises, if you will, uh, using our hands. And here it is from the side view. I'm staggering my hands so you can see the different hand placement. But you really want to go for resisting as much as you can on the way down and then exploding on the way up with your fingers spread wide, of course.
Here's another one of my favorites. I call this one the Gorilla Stretch because it looks like your hands are in the shape of a gorilla, but you're balling your fist up and then you're going to slowly and very carefully let your forearms kind of go all the way down onto the top side of your hands. This supplies you with a very good stretch on the top side of your forearms. And when it comes to going on the way up, you want to push off using the power of your forearms and a little bit of uh, weight from your uh, knees and you're going to find your sweet spot because obviously you won't be able to first start off doing this uh, with all your weight so vary your weight and go for the stretch and if you're not able to go all the way down that's totally okay we're going at the speed of you keep those fingers clenched Okay, remember the side stretch that we did in the beginning? Now we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to turn our hands over and do the side stretch with the palms of our hand facing us. So spread your fingers out, and again, we're going to approach this very carefully, and we're going to lean into that as far as we can, as far as our muscles will allow us. We're going back and forth. Again, my timer set for a minute. You can do this for 30 seconds to start, but you are locking your elbows out, rotating those uh, elbow pits forward, and you're just going to maintain a nice little lean and really stretch the top side of your forearms. By the time we're done with this, you're going to feel uh, a new sensation in your wrist and forearm area. Keep your fingers as sp spread as far as you can and just keep going until your time is up. Okay, we are almost done now, I promise. And this right here, as a matter of fact, is bonus. So as you can see, I have my wrist placed firmly planted. I firmly planted my hands into the ground. And what I'm doing right now is what I like to call wringing out the towel. So as I place my palms on the ground and cement them into the ground, I'm really just rotating my forearms back and forth. And you can see here, you can play around with the hand placement, but you really want to go for a nice stretch. And the, the way you achieve that stretch is you just twist your forearms back and forth, leaving your hands as if they were cemented into the ground. And you're just wringing out the muscles of your forearms back and forth. Again, this is bonus, not necessary, but it is, it is very beneficial to just get everything uh, loose and get you ready for the rest of your practice.